what is up youtube family welcome back to the channel yeah today's videos uh well uh there's something here behind me that we probably need to talk about so let's roll that beautiful bean footage Welcome back to the channel guys yes we done something well a little bit different here as you can see we've got a 2013 jeep wrangler four-door moab edition sitting here actually guys i told you something different was going to come i sold the 2016 silverado and picked this up yes the 2016 silverado was my dad's and as you all know my dad passed away a couple of years ago but listen that was too much truck for me. It, I didn't need that. It was just too much and it sat out here. Now, keep in mind that me and my dad really never got to experience anything in that truck together. It was just a truck. It wasn't something that we worked on together or had any special times or anything together. It was just a truck. So I love the truck, don't get me wrong, but I just felt that it was too much. And plus it just sat here all the time. So what's, ha what's the use of having something that you're not going to enjoy? And my dad was the type of guy who, he would look you right in the face and say, hey, if you don't want the truck, trade it for something that you can enjoy. And that was my dad. So that's what I done. It was hard. I had a hard time dealing with it, but after a lot of consideration, I done what I had to do. And in its place is the 20, 13 Jeep Wrangler. Now, as if you'll notice, guys, it's got some it's got some sayings and stuff on it, which is Deuce Volt. Deuce Volt is actually a Christian motto, Christian motto relating to the divine providence. It was first chanted by the Catholics during the first crusade in 1096. But actually the whole meaning means God's will. Now, as cool as that is, and I really dig it. I'm gonna have to change it up. It's not mine. You know what I mean? It's not my saying. What is up YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, behind me is the new Jeep Wrangler. It's the addition to the bad LSX garage. The truck, however, is gone. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the 2013 Jeep Wrangler. It's the Moab edition. It is loaded down. It's got everything a person would want or need. And I'm super excited with it, been cleaning on it, still cleaning on it, and just enjoying it. Now, you gotta look over, you know, it's not perfect, but it's it's you know, it's a 2013 that has been well taken care of. The people I got the Jeep from took excellent care of it. I'm the third owner. The first owner is the one that fixed it pretty much like this. She was an older lady from my understanding. And she, when the Gladiators came out, she wanted the Gladiators, so she got rid of this. And then the people I bought it from were also older, you know, older people. So it's been taken care of. It's not been, you know, just wide open through the trains. So anyway, enough about that. Today's video was one just introducing this Jeep to the channel. Today's video, I have questions. Questions that came from everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and I'm gonna today answer those questions now listen I give a lot of attention to the negative stuff but I don't hardly give any attention to the positive things so that's what I'm gonna focus on today there may be some negative involved but we're still gonna address every question that we can that I've got that I feel like it's important and that's been repeated a lot so um, most people use their phones. Look, I'm old school. I use paper, spiral notebook paper. That's that's what I am. That's who I am. I'm old school with my Papaw glasses and, you know, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Come on. All right, first question says, why and how did I start riding a motorcycle? Well, why was because why not? I mean, seriously, um, never rode a dirt bike ever, never had one uh, growing up, none of that. Never even had four wheelers until I actually moved out of my parents' house, just wasn't really interested in it. 
And as far as motorcycles goes, I've always been interested in motorcycles. Uh, my dad never did ride. He didn't know how to ride my mom either. Growing up, we lived in Cincinnati and there was bars and stuff around and there was all types of motorcycle clubs and stuff coming in all hours of the day and night. And uh, you know how it is. You get, you know, you're hooked at a young age. I was hooked at a young age automatically. I got my first motorcycle when I was 19 years old. I was at a party at a buddy's house and um, he had a, I believe, I think it was, I can't even remember, I want to say a 1985, 87 Suzuki GS550. And uh, it'd been sitting there for years. He said, hey, I think it was $500. You give me $500 for that, you could take it home. Guys, I worked on it, took it home. They actually brought it to me, took it, worked on it, got it going. That was my first motorcycle. That was actually what I would consider probably the street bike of the 80s it was super fast it was it was obnoxious it would absolutely scream uh, but quickly I realized that that really wasn't my style now the same guy that I bought the Suzuki off of also had a another bike a Honda Shadow 650 that bike I rode one time and absolutely fell in love with I bought that bike also off of him and that right there, it was it was over. It was game over from there. I knew then that I was gonna be a cruiser type of papa old man type of guy, even in my 20s, night early teens or late teens, early 20s. All right, second question. It says, you have a YouTube channel named after LS. Why when you are everywhere? It's a good question. I've mentioned this several times in other videos, but for you new subscribers that doesn't know, yes, my channel is named after LS platform based cars, trucks, whatever. Okay, with that being said, you don't see much of it. You may see it in the background, but I have a 2008 Corvette, which has the LS platform in it. Now that car is, the license plate on the car is bad LSX. That is where I got the name from. When I first started this channel, I knew that I wanted to be a wide variety, but I kind of thought it would be more related to car things. And it's turned out that it's not. It's a little bit of everywhere, seriously. So that's that's where the name came from. It actually started out Bad LSX. And then as time went on, I thought, you know, let's we're doing things more in the garage than we are anything. So let's add Bad LSX Garage to that. So that's what I've done. Am I a, a know-it-all? No, I'm absolutely not. Am I a guru on LS stuff? Absolutely not. I'm just like most of you out there. I love to tinker on stuff. I love to learn. I love to do things. I am a mechanic. I do know how to mechanic, but I'm not ASE certified or nothing like that. It says, uh, look at you with your, now this might be a, a little hit, you know, a little stab, but we're gonna take a shot at it. It says, look at you with all your perfect bought garage road signs and decor. Well, I thank you for that. It's really not all perfect. It's it's actually a total mess in here, but I appreciate, you know, the, the, the comment. And um, listen, I'm old school. None of this is bought. It's five finger discounted, you know? And if you don't know what that means, you might want to look it up because I'm not going to tell you. But I'm old school. I, this is stuff that I've gotten with my own two hands. You know, it's uh, not been bought, that's for sure. But it's just old stuff that I've accumulated along the way. Would I absolutely go out and do this stuff now? No, no, I wouldn't. But I got it and I'm going to keep it. I mean, like a stop sign that you guys see in the background sometimes, that stop sign I have seen at a vendor's mall for $175. It's like, well, really? Really? Wow, no. I'm not that guy, guys. If I'm gonna put money into something, it's not gonna be $175 for a stop sign. That $175 is gonna go somewhere on my vehicles is pretty much where it's gonna happen at. But I do appreciate the comment. I do, you know, I. It is a cool looking garage and I kind of what I wanted. I've even got movie posters hanging around. So question number four, do I practice my shorts? Absolutely no. Um, if, I, if I see something that I want to have a poke at, like have fun with, if I see something that I just want to talk about, 
I just go off the top of my head. Now, do I have to go back sometimes and actually redo them? Yes. I mean, I'm not perfect. I sometimes have to do three or four different takes in order to get it right. Do I practice it though? No, no, absolutely not. You get what you get here. That's it, you know? It's me. And listen, I do jokes. If you don't like it, if you cannot take a joke, you probably don't need to be here. If you've got the proverbial stick stuck up your behind that you can't understand taking a joke, I'm sorry, that's your problem. Scroll on, move on, it, you know? I'm gonna have fun here. I got death threats, guys. Seriously, over, over one of my shorts called Cab Over, I don't know, it's over a semi. It's Cab Over Gang or something like that. The guy that I was poking fun at actually enjoyed the video. He put down in the comment section that he loved the video, that he enjoyed it. You know, people, he, he had a sense of humor. He understood what I was doing. But off of that, I have got death threats and everything else, you know, and uh, one of those death threats I would have, I would have taken seriously, but I mean, you're in Australia, bro. What are you gonna do to me? You're in Australia, you can't do nothing to me. What are you gonna do? Really? And I'm not gonna sit and have a word battle with you over in my messenger on my private, I'm just not. So you're gonna get blocked. Let's just put it that way. Am I gonna block you for leaving a comment? No, unless it's just T totally awful. If, if, cause listen, I've got kids on here too. There's kids that's watching this. so. I, I do keep it family friendly, and but if you're leaving me comments that's really, really bad, yeah, I probably will delete the comment. Am I gonna delete you? Probably not. If you keep on with the nastiness, then we'll see from there. But if you message me directly on my own stuff, inboxing me, yeah, you're getting blocked straight up. I don't have time or the nonsense for that. that that's foolish, it's, it's stupid, it, I'm not gonna, if you want to get it on, we can get it on, but when you're in Australia and I'm here in Kentucky, we're never going to meet each other. I'm about 100% positive we're never going to meet each other, so I'm not going to have a word battle with you. That's just, wow. People just blow my mind sometimes. Number five, how hard is it to start a YouTube channel and is it worth it? Okay, now I've got several questions here that I'm going to integrate in with this. That was number five. Number uh, six says, is editing videos hard? Number seven, what type of equipment do I have and what does someone need to get started? And number eight is what got me started into doing videos. Now, all of these obviously are all together. So I'm gonna treat them as one big question. Even though five, six, seven, and eight are separate questions, I'm gonna combine them as one. So. How hard is it to start a YouTube channel and is it worth it? First of all, you gotta be thick skinned, just like I said. If, if you can't take criticism, if you can't take a lot of negativity, if you can't take uh, being ribbed yourself, um, then no, don't start one. Because I'm telling you, if, if you can't take those kind of things, it will, you'll keep, it'll keep you up at night. It's not hard to start a YouTube channel. Anybody can do it. All you gotta do is, is create your name and start at that little button right at the top hand corner that says create. Click on it and go. Is it worth it? As of right now, for me, I'm having a blast. Uh, it is a full-time job. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a full-time job. Uh, along with trying to detail, along with family life, along with doing this, um, I keep a camera in my hand a lot and sometimes that even aggravates my wife because you know you have to get the you have to get the content the thing is editing hard it can be I'm not gonna lie to you it can be um, I run two sometimes three sometimes four cameras sometimes a, a drone which it sucks um, it can be hard editing itself six eight hours easy all day for one of these videos right here for or even like the last video where me and roy was out on the motorcycles that's a six to eight hour edit process that's going through the content that's looking through everything you know marking what you need pulling it over and, and doing it that way what type of equipment do i have and what do i need to get started 
Okay, I have this camera right here is a GoPro Hero 10. This one right here usually stays on my handlebars. It's a Hero 7. It's just a plain Jane camera, it's an action camera, that's it. Um, I also run a, on my helmet. When I'm giving you the content off my chin, I'm usually using a GoPro Hero 8. And I have a GoPro Hero 4. I use sometimes, not very often, because it the battery quality is poor on that, and I just don't want to spend the money uh, to upgrade the battery. So you don't have to have the best of everything. You don't have to. You can do use your iPhone. In fact, a lot of my shorts now are actually used with just that Galaxy S8 iPhone, Galaxy S8 phone. Um, even bigger YouTubers like Whistling Diesel. He uses iPhones, that's all he uses. He's got a bunch of burner iPhones that he used for his content. And that's totally cool. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Last question, what got me starting, started in videos? Well, first off, um, it's something that I thought I could always do. Uh, I've watched Cletus, I've watched all of these channels and I thought, you know, I could do this stuff. I know how to do things. I know how to work on cars. I know how to have fun. I know shenanigans and all this. So, um, why not? Don't never think that somebody's not interested in what you have to say because there's always somebody out there that is. But I just jumped into it and, you know, just gradually started teaching myself. Yes, my first videos are cringe. I can't watch myself. If when I'm editing, yes, that's about the only time that I can watch myself. I can't actually sit down and watch a whole video. I can't stand the way I talk myself. But there's a lot of people out there like that. So that's another thing. Just get over it. You know, if you want to do this, you have to get over your fears. So I just put the camera in my hand and I started. And that's, that's the hardest part, I believe, of getting started in YouTube, is actually realizing that you have to have that GoPro in your hand at all times. Enough with that. I hope you've enjoyed this little garage talk, if you will. Um, if questions, concerns, comments, put them down here in this video in the comment section. I wanna hear what everybody has to say. Also, name for the Jeep. We need a name for the Jeep. Like I said, I was thinking mud life crisis. You know, <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, I, I think. We'll do another review on this Jeep. I'll give you a full, full review. Because uh, there's a lot to it. There's, It's got a wedge and it, it's nice. It's a really nice Jeep. So once I get it fixed and done sort of kind of the way I want it, cleaned up exactly the way that I want me for my OCD, I'll jump in there and I'll video and I'll give you a full review on the G. Plus, I've not had it that long yet either. And I'm trying to still learn everything. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's a little something different. Um, yeah, I love hearing your comments. Put them down there. I do read them. Let's just touch that real quick. I read every single comment. You may not get a like or a thumb or, you know, a heart or whatever. You may not, but I'm reading every single comment, good and bad. And like I said, I'm not going to delete your comments even if it's horrible. I, I'm not that dude. You've got your right to your opinion just the same as I've got the right to my opinion. So it, your comment's not going to get deleted unless it's just horrible. Unless it's just teetotally, I don't want kids reading, yeah, it's probably going to get deleted. Am I going to delete you? Probably not. Unless you start foolishness like putting death threats in my inbox, my personal inbox, then yeah, you're probably going to get deleted. But other than that, look, we're good. But enough, I'm done, I'm over. You know, like always, like, share, and subscribe. Go across the street, go across the road, tell your neighbors, your loved ones, tell them all to stop here at Bad LSX Garage. I want to see more subscribers here. Let's get to 25,000 by the end of August. I want at least 25,000, guys. Come on, get me there, please. It's growing every day, but please, come on. Anyways, thanks seriously for each and one, every one of you that has subscribed. But you know, like always, do it with me. You, right, you in the black shirt right back there. You, over there sitting in that beanbag chair eating Doritos. Yeah, yeah, you. Give me a thumbs up. 
All right, good deal. You know it, guys. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>